it just be it just it just be it's just too much okay too much hey y'all can you see me I feel like I can see my vanity lights and my glasses and take this off don't mind my clothes. I am doing a try on haul. I'm recording it. I'll be posted soon. So I'm in the middle of recording this video showing you how I got my updated wash and go. Whew. Since I colored my hair red, that was back in May. Last six months when I would flat on my hair, I didn't like the way it looked. And I felt like my hair was just kept breaking. I just didn't like my hair. When I did natural hairstyles, Wash and goes or perm raw sets, they always turn out a hot mess. So I've been keeping my hair in protective hairstyles for the majority of the last six months. In October, I was like, you know what? Weather is breaking. Let me go ahead and straighten my hair and see if I need a trim and if I want to wear it out. And I straightened my hair. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so pretty. I was so happy. I was finally, finally satisfied with a hairstyle. I wore my hair straight for about a month. The longest I ever had my hair straight since I've been natural because I'm always itching to get back to my curls and make sure my curls didn't have any damage. And this time I was like, I don't even care if I have heat damage. I don't even care. Thank goodness I didn't have heat damage. And I did my first wash and go last week, which was the week of Thanksgiving. And my curls were popping. They were so freaking pretty. I love my hair. So I was like, why not give y'all an updated wash and go video? You see these curls? Now hopefully these curls will look right when they dry. You know how you could use the same, same freaking products, the same method, do everything the same as you did the last time you styled your hair. And for some reason, it just do not turn out the same. That happens to me a lot. And it seems like when I pull a camera out, that's what jinxed myself. As soon as the camera come out, hair style not going to turn out right. If it don't turn out right, puff you go. This hair will be right in a puff tomorrow. I'm really tripping. This is a work night. I don't like to do my hair. Mm -mm -mm, on the work night. And then, on top of that, I need to watch Real Housewives of Potomac. Do y'all watch that? I'm on the episode that's continuing from the fight in Miami. Well, I'm not even going to say a fight. The drink toss in Miami. Baby. Wendy is not my favorite person. I'm not going to say I don't like her. I just, I don't know. She just not my favorite person. I do not like what Mia, and of course her name would be Mia. I do not like what Mia did to her. You don't, basically you hit somebody. If you throw a drink at me, you hit me. Don't hit somebody. You don't do that. Like, we grown. Like, you don't put your hands on people. That's what children resort to. Somebody who needs anger management. You can't, you can't hit nobody. And I understand some people's words can feel like a hit. But she didn't even say nothing crazy. It feel like she fighting. Mia's fighting over Peter. Over Wendy. Not signing the contract with Peter. Which is so freaking childish. I wish I would be fighting for a man that's not even mine. Girl, if you don't go sit down. I think I told y'all before... A while, a while ago, back when I wasn't going to watch, I think I, did I watch the last season? I think last season, the first, whatever, the first season then that Monique wasn't the one. I didn't know if I was going to watch it or not. Monique wasn't one of my favorite people, but I didn't like how they treated her. And here they go again, fighting, but they got a different response for this fight. They basically is okaying that girl Mia throwing drinks on people. But when Candace was begging to get dragged, and Monique dragged her. <laughs> now everybody, uh -uh, that's where we draw the line. We don't fight. We don't do this and that. I don't want to keep talking about them. So yeah, that's what I don't want to watch. Did y'all want to see the products? But I'll show y'all. I just had plain water in this bottle. This is Alpha G's Curtain Green Tea Revitalizer. Uncle Funky's Daughter Thirsty Curls is the leave-in curl revitalizer. And then I'm using Uncle Funky's Curl Activator. What is this called? curl stimulator. I remember how easy wash and goes are. As soon as I did this wash and go, I said, oh, until I decide what protective hairstyle I'm going to do next, wash and go, it will be. So cute. You see these curls looking like Roman noodles. Some oodles and noodles. A noodle head. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? So this is my hair. After I lightly blow dried it and gave it a little 
pluck pluck at the root tomorrow is going to be better so i'll come back tomorrow to show you first day hair this still don't look too bad oh i love the way my hair is coming back oh my goodness i used to whoo four or five months ago i was so ready to cut my hair my hair off and just start all over and i'm glad i didn't make that impulsive decision because I would still be bald headed right now <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with being bald headed i just don't like my hair to be short i don't know how to style it but trust me if i felt confident and felt like i like the way short hair look on me i definitely would wear it because i remember back when i first went natural wash days was like five minutes <laughs> boom 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 bam rinse out and that's it so i'll see y'all tomorrow my hair should be a little bit bigger. Cute, 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 cute. It's coming back from a couple stores. I'm going to show y'all what we got real quick. This stuff is from like the dollar store, I think. Yeah, dollar store. So some cleaning supplies, some toothbrushes. Um, we are just getting over being sick. So, of course, you need to change your toothbrushes when you're sick. So, yeah. Anyway, so some toothbrushes, some sandwich bags some dial soap and i saw these at the dollar store some tom's prebiotic hand soap moisturizing so i brought one for upstairs and downstairs scrubbing bubbles dishwashing pods all right so to the food i brought these last week and trying to make healthier choices with my snacks so I don't even like pretzels, pretzels, however you want to call them. I do like the jumbo ones from like Auntie Annie at the mall, but I don't like hard pretzels. But these were pretty good because of course it's covered with chocolate. So I brought, excuse me, two packs of those. My breakfast biscuits, blueberry, and cranberry orange. Again, healthier choices with my snacks. I'm trying to make them. Caramel rice cakes. Alright, I'm not 100% there, but I did get a couple candy bars. Some for me, some for my man. Don't judge me. Yogurts. I have blue diamond, two peaches, two blueberries, and two vanilla. Also, I brought two cans of peaches. I'm going to eat peaches with my, both I think, but the peach and, and the vanilla. So, I already opened up a can. Just put them in two jars. So, I'll have that for graphics when I'm at work. I have a yogurt with some peaches. What's that? Some sodas, Gatorade, honey, orange juice, just detergent, almond milk. And I want to have a salad this week, so I just brought some stuff for my salad. The lettuce, tomatoes, croutons, cucumbers, some butter, some green onions, scallions. Fruit. I just have strawberry and grape. I did buy some pound cake. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with that for my dessert tonight. Um, some noodles. And this is a taco soft shell kit. It comes with 10 soft shell tacos. And some Taco Bell mild sauce and Taco Bell seasoning. So We're going to have tacos one day this week. Right now we have some salmon so, and it was in the freezer. I'm going to make some rasta pasta with salmon. That's why I got some more honey. And then I'm going to use this jerk seasoning. So, this is the cheese that I'm going to use. They didn't have the cheese that I usually use when I make my rasta pasta. So, I'm going to try a different cheese. Of course, if you don't know, I don't eat cheese. This is vegan cheese. And I brought two bags of these. And this is a vegan Parmesan cheese. Then, to go back to my salads... I brought the vegan Caesar. This is so good. I tried this before, but it's so good. So, they were on sale two for five. So, I got another one. This is a vegan Zesty Ranch. So, hopefully that's good. Some regular cheese for him and some garlic knots. So, that's everything we got from the market just now. So, let me go ahead and start my dinner. I might just show y'all the end of the rasta pasta because I made it before. I'll probably put a clip over here what vlog I made it from start to finish. But let me go ahead and start making my 
Sunday dinner. Back, y'all. In the middle of doing my makeup for the two videos I'm recording, I'm going to record my wash and go, how my hair looked dry the next day. And then finally, I already did the try on haul for my all my clothes over there, but I need to do the sit down part where I sit down to talk about the clothing and all that. And I'm watching I Survived. If you're not familiar with this show, it's a show where three different people talk about some type of tragic event that they survived. Most of the time, maybe one person who was held hostage got shot. Another person that maybe was a domestic violence situation. And another person, it would be like a natural disaster, like a tsunami or the plane crash, something like that. The episode that I'm watching, well, I'm kind of not really paying too much attention because I'm doing my makeup. This lady, she was apparently in a domestic violence relationship. And the guy used to put her hands on her. her. I think her parents told her to get a restraining order against him. But she didn't want to because she had a child with the guy. And she said she didn't want him to be out of their child's life. Before the commercial came on, she was talking about she got her. She decorated her son's bedroom. And she was saying the last words she heard from her son was, Thank you, Mommy. I like my room. So that already shows me. Before you even come back on, I already know that the little boy probably passed. The father probably killed the little boy because she said the last words he said to me. And she's still talking, so she ain't gone. So the little boy probably is gone. And I say that to say I don't. I have never been in a DV relationship. And that's so sad for people, men and women, anybody that has to go through that. But my thing is, I don't understand why people think that just because he hasn't put his hands on a child in front of you or he hasn't hit the children yet, he wouldn't. People don't care about nothing but getting back at you. Nine times out of ten, that's how those relationships end. If they can't get the woman, the person they're after, they will get them kids. I've been watching Lifetime since I was in elementary school with my grandmother. That's how it always end up. All the time. It's so sad. I, I hate when that happens. If you don't want to leave that partner, give your kids up to a family member, a friend, somebody that could watch them or take care of them while you're in this relationship. Because that's not fair for that child to be getting beat up and unalived and everything else because you don't want to let this person go. Or you claim you don't think they're going to hurt the kids. He ain't think about no kids. He, she, whoever the person is that's an abuser, they're not thinking about nobody but themselves. It's so sad. I hate to see shows like that. I, I'm a crime watch junkie i watch all the crime shows but when it comes to children children being sa you know what i'm saying or harmed i, I just don't like to see that i don't want to see nobody being hurt but especially children seven months later oh gosh she's getting ready to come back on let me see what, what the dago man done did so he she had left the guy and seven months later he popped up he was in her house all black and gloves on. So yeah, he about to go in there and do something. I don't even want to see this right now because this is messing me up. Oh, goodness. Let me finish doing this makeup. I can't be watching this and then get ready to start talking on camera happy and smiling. See, look. This is the episode right here. Oh, hey y'all. So this is my look makeup look i just finished filming my two separate videos the wash and go hair video and then my all my clothing as you can see they all on the floor <sighs> my talking part for my try on haul what time is it all right it's getting late i need to get ready get in the shower find me something to eat and go to sleep and i guess take me a couple boomerang pictures or videos and that is all you get from me tonight Woo! i had a full day i feel like i had a full week and it's only tuesday goodness gracious no days off i rarely go on instagram only time i go on there is if i want to do like a filter picture or something fun like that that's the only time i will go on to instagram because it just be it just it just be it's just too much okay too much so when I go in there, I'm like, who is this person? Who is this? And these filters say, hey, you looking like a whole nother damn going person. Who is that? 
Cheekbones. She giving cheekbones. You. <laughs> She gotta have a real high self-esteem to play with these filters because you wanna take a picture of yourself like, oh, I'm beautiful, and look at the mirror and be like, that, that ain't me. <laughs> I don't even know if it's even picking up. Like they be playing, they playing too much with these filters. Delete it. I don't know what I'm doing. See, that's what happens when you don't be on here for long. You don't know what the heck is going on. Girl, they got my nose snatched. I already got makeup on. They had me looking like... Girl. Alright, y'all. I feel so successful. It's OMD Tuesday. I got a lot accomplished. And we just gonna keep it rolling for the week. Don't forget to watch my video. Try on haul. I'll tell you where I got this top from. My other clothes that's on the floor. It'll be right here. And also, if you want to see how I got this wash and go, the link to that video will be here. So we having tacos for dinner tonight. So we got this kit from Aldi's last week. And it came with the soft shells, some taco sauce, and some taco seasoning. But I want to make nachos probably tomorrow. So we got some tortilla shells, some more taco sauce, some jalapeno peppers, some chicken taco seasoning. We make it ground turkey, but tomatoes, lettuce, and some cilantro or rice. So let's go. Uh -huh. Got the full body yeah. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hoppin'. I got options. I can pass that by stockin'. Just joshin'. I'm spendin' this holiday lockin'. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put the ball in the end zone, put it back in the top ten. This shit sound like an intro, just gon' give me that tempo. Oh, cool, get fooled with this shit. Talk her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. I like to call it a passion. I can be sitting and relaxing. Peach, we getting some traction. I'm at the video's packing. I'm thinking her accent. I got a baby, something on me. And she trying to get it, I'm passing. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of shit, like. Got my own flow, and I'm about to get a package. Brand new sheets for the bed, they set. Y'all was the tune, they're I swear they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. 